Yes, now bless now people. Don't forget the rest now. That's Des Rock steady at King of the Pit TV signing in live and large once again. A little bit of a review for you, a little bit of an overview, and I'll give a rating to this record. My very first time listening to Pestilence, so where better place to start than the debut LP? 1988, this was put out. Um, I don't necessarily want to do it this justice by mispronouncing the name, but what we've got written here on the title of the playlist is Amalius Maleficarum. Would that be nearabouts correct? I don't know what it signifies or what it stands for. I don't know if I've casted a spell on all of you listening, to be honest with you. I don't know. But we've got 10 tunes here. Blistering death metal. Fresh metal adjacent death metal or early, early death metal vibes. Initially listening to it, I thought the production could have been better. It was very bass heavy. Um, the guitar tone was very stubborn and solid as opposed to like smooth and distortion covered, which I do tend to prefer. But it was grungy, gritty, grey. And at the time of finishing the record... I looked back to the fact it was put out in 1988 and I thought, you know what, this is actually quite a ahead of its time sounding record. It's clean, it's a clean record. I don't believe I'm listening to a remaster. 1988, the All Blacks BV. Uh, it, it states. A lot of storytelling in the record. I mean, you know, you can pick up bits and pieces here and there, but the way he produces... The lyrical content is like that of telling a, t telling a story, which is quite nice. It's like what we heard in Cannibal Corpse's Eating Back to Life record. You know, as opposed to song structure and referring back and having hooks and so on and so forth. Um, we tended to primarily just splutter out the story upon these raging, fast, fresh tempos. But we weren't afraid to go mid-tempo as well. There was a couple of decent grooves in there. And there was one thing that stood out. Well, there's two things. The first one was the guitar solos. The guitar solos, I, 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 I can't be arsed with guitar solos. They bore me to death for the most part. Especially death metal guitar solos. Just, you know, guitar solo for the sake of it. I'm bored of them. But there was a few unique approaches and a few unique sections and organizations of the lead guitar parts in this record that was the first thing the second thing was they'd have these interlude sections or what i would consider interlude dun 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 and you'd think all right next riff's kicking in but then they'd just keep cycling through them steps dun 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 the, the drums would come in and start grooving over what I would consider like these filler sections from section to section. And that was something I've not heard, really. I mean, you hear it in Slayer. The most popular one would be Slayer's um, Rain in Blood. That vibe, but we had that reoccur throughout the record at least three times. So that was a pestilence thing. Do I want to check out more pestilence after listening to this? I want to see where they went. I want to see where they went from. I don't have the background information currently. Well, I do, but I haven't looked at it to inform myself of what direction or how old they were or any background which may influence me into being more excited to check out more stuff. It was a very consistent record. And being more of a fan of thrash metal than to heavy metal than to black metal, I enjoyed the overall sound. It was fast, push pit, central, and very pleasing. And without further ado, I'm going to give it a rating. As far as death metal is concerned, you know, I'm going to be tight, I'm going to be tight, I'm going to be tight, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Because I like to I like to give a lot of room for improvement. Production was good. Ahead of its time, perhaps, as far as a, a product, this death metal product from 1988, the way it sounded and came across. Sounds like a 90s record to me. Early 90s. And I don't know much about death metal, but correct me if I'm wrong there in your opinion.
Without further ado, I'm going to sign out. That's all I need to say about this. We will be continuing on, given you are a fan of Pestilence. Let me know, because it's for you at the end of the day. I'm signing out. Peace.